Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, I'm sharing with you my top 10 Korean skincare products of 2022. My Korean skincare favorites that I've used most frequently in my skincare routine this year. Now, if you'd asked me this question 12 months ago, there will be a whole lot more Korean skincare products in my routine, but I've really honed it in in the last 12 months to really look at which of the products delivering maximum benefit that I want to continue with in my skincare routine. And that's really what we're celebrating in today's video. So sit back, relax, let's stop the top 10 Korean Korean skincare. Now before we get into this video, I would love to know any of your personal favourites that I've missed out of this list, so sound up in the comments section below. Just because I'm not using as much Korean skincare in my routine at the moment doesn't mean that I'm not on the lookout for some recommendations and suggestions, so any that you can make honestly will be so, so appreciative. Whatever you think of the products that I've included in this list, if you want to support me as a content creator and a channel, the best way to do that is by reaching down and giving this video a thumbs up and a like. The more likes a video gets, the more widely YouTube will distribute it on its platform, so from the bottom of my heart, thank you to each and every one of you that just takes that small moment out of your day to like the content I create here on Mad About Skin. Now, I've got a lot to get through in this top 10, so should we just cut that waffle and delve straight on in? And I'm going to kick things off with a product that I have fangirled relentlessly about throughout 2022, and honestly, I'm not ashamed to say this is probably the one toner that I will be keeping with me in my skincare routine for the next, like, 10 years, and it's this, the Secret Key Starting Treatment Essence. So I covered all the reasons why I think this is so special in a separate video video, which I'll leave a link to up there. But I first tried this out because someone said this is the perfect dupe for the SK2 Essence, which is like 10 times the price. I thought, you know what? I love a good dupe. I love a good bargain. So I put one on order and I've been using it ever since. It's packed full of Galactomyces Ferment, which is going to really help to hydrate and plump out the skin. It's also over time going to even out the skin tone to help fade hyperpigmentation. You don't get like instant results with this, but one thing I definitely find with the first use is it helps the rest of your serums just absorb that a little bit better. Water-based serums always penetrate better on damp skin, so kickstart your skincare routine with a couple of drops of this worked into the hand and then pressed into the skin. Follow with the rest of your serums and you'll just find everything appears a little bit more elegant on application and you definitely get like a boost of hydration too. It's really inexpensive, it looks super bougie and luxury and honestly if they charge like double for this I would continue to buy it, it's like that that good. Another very obvious mention in this video that you guys will probably be bored of me fangirling about, but you know what, if a product works for me, I want to continue to shout it from the rooftops because I want everybody else to be able to do really amazing skincare on a budget. And this is a product that doesn't need to break the bank. It's the V Green Seeker Serum. Now, I recently mentioned this in a video where I called out this has been like the best plumping and hydrating serum on Skincare Planet Earth. I stand by that hyperbole, and I'll link of that video up there if you do want to check it out. I think we all got sucked into that, the Seeker hype. Everyone wanted to get their hands on Centella Asiatica, but there is a vast amount of difference between some of the more poorly formulated Centella serums and something that's really exceptional like this. So you don't just get Centella Asiatica in here, you've got allotonin and panthenol to calm and soothe, but they've also isolated the various active compounds within Centella Asiatica and added them in on top of that Centella Asiatica extract that's already in here. So you're really just doubling down on the benefits. Over time, if used alongside a vitamin C, this will boost the levels of collagen and elastin in the skin. It's going to instantly calm, soothe, and hydrate. And don't forget, like, the number one trigger to hyperpigmentation and discoloration is inflammation. So anything we can use in our skincare routine to dial that back, reset that equilibrium, has to be a good thing. And at like $15, I think this is an absolutely amazing investment. The best thing is you get 50 ml of product here. Most serums come in 30 ml, so you're actually getting quite a lot more product and one of these will last me like two months but it just glides onto the skin it feels so so elegant and my top tip is if you were watching this in a warm summer month pop this in the fridge that additional cooling will definitely definitely be welcome now, in at number three are these. These are the Jackson Lane Bro Mask Eye Patches. Now, these actually featured in last year's video. I'll find that out and I'll link it in the description box below because some of the favourites this year have carried forward from last year and I know that a couple of them will feature in next year's video too. This is kind of going to be one of those products. Now, these aren't the cheapest and normally when I look to skincare products, I am so cheap. I like to keep it drugstore and these are a little bit up there in price point but I will definitely say you get more by paying more with these and I say for that special occasion when maybe you haven't got enough sleep you're gonna have your photo taken you're going out to a nice fancy meal or something where you just want to look your skin confidence best this is what i would put under my eyes for like 20 minutes before i do any concealer and it just transforms the skin so this is the most comprehensive eye patch formulation 
I think I've ever discovered. You've got things for hydration, for plumping, for removing fine lines of wrinkles. It's got the anti-aging benefit. It's going to help remove any discoloration under the eye. It's just like a one-stop shop. These come in packs of like five. So put them on order and save them because of that higher price point for those special occasions where you just want that boost of confidence. But these, I never, never do without them. And I also like to take them on holiday with me because you get off a flight. Everything's just a bit puffy and, you know, discoloured under the eye area. Put these on gone like that. True, true hero product. And definitely, definitely one that's worth a lot. Now, hot in at number four is this. This is the Crave Beauty Makeup Rewind Cleansing Oil. So there are a lot of cleansing oils on the market. And honestly, I've disliked all of them. I'm someone that's really messy with my cleanse. I sort of get it everywhere. It runs down the arms. I get oil all over the vanity. It stains. It just becomes a really hot mess, which is why I tend not to reach for cleansing oils. I prefer something in a balm form. However, when you're coming to do like a facial massage and you want something with a lot of slip that you can really get in there and do a detailed massage with, I think an oil just works better. So I was keen to put one of these on order and try it because this claims to be a cleansing oil in a gel formulation. I kind of thought, how does that actually work? Well, you put this on to the skin and it definitely comes out as a gel. If you can see that, it doesn't slip, it doesn't run, it doesn't slide. But as you work it into the skin and warm it up, it kind of transforms into a pure oil. So this means you can apply apply it way, way more easily than you can other cleansing oils because you don't let it run all over the place. It's easier on application. I find you get a better user experience and it's a really effective cleanse to boot. This is one of those products that remove multiple layers of water resistant SPF, waterproof makeup, kind of all in one. And it emulsifies really well. So you don't really have that film left on the skin after you've rinsed it off. That is definitely, definitely a plus in my book. And a little goes such a long way. I've had that one tube probably like eight months and I'm ready to buy another one now. But because I use it a couple of times a week, that's kind of the only oil cleanser I actually need in my routine. And I reach for it time and time again. Now we're halfway through this list and in at number five is this. This is the Beauty of Joseon Green Plum Refreshing Cleanser. Now Beauty of Joseon is hands down my favorite Korean skincare brand and all of their products can feature in this list. It's actually really difficult to really work out what my like true cult holy grail favorites. And I kept a full review of the Beauty of Joseon line in a recent video, which I'll link up there. Definitely one to check out because like a lot of skincare brands, they have their holy grails and total fails, but those holy grails far, far outweigh the rest. And it's definitely, definitely the brand that's worth looking into. One of my favorite products from them is this cleanser. Now it's not the most exciting product on planet earth, you know, it's just a cleanser. But I think when you reach for a cleanser that feels quite luxurious, bouncy and bougie on the skin, so you get that like spa-like vibes without paying too much money, I'm all about it. And this is really, really effective. It's a gel cleanser. So, you know, it's not gonna budge the water resistant makeup like say that Crave Beauty oil cleanser is. But if you just want something that's a lightweight, gets through the dirt, the debris, and some light layers of SPF, this does it. And it doesn't leave the skin feeling stripped and dried. It's that luxurious feeling that really makes me want to gravitate for it time and time again. I like with the rest of the Beauty of Joe's online, it's really, really well priced. So if you're someone that wants to do like luxury, but on a budget, <laughs> it's a really great cleanser to reach for. There's another couple of Beauty of Joseon products coming on later in the video, but this for me is definitely a bit of an unsung hero from the brand. Now in at number six is like the one and only mist in this list. And it's this, the Ciaris Falling Into the Rose Mist. Now this featured in last year's equivalent video. And again, as with that bro mask that I mentioned earlier, I can definitely see that going forward into next year's video too. This is just so lovely. It's got a really great atomizing mist on there. So it's not a product that like clumps all over the skin and leaves water droplets, which makes it great as an option to like refresh your makeup midway through the day. It's also got a really nice blend of rose water in here, which is calming, soothing, and hydrating. You've got some oils in here, but again, they don't appear oily or greasy on the skin. And I've sprayed this over a little concealer and it doesn't break it apart, which again, it's quite rare to find that enhanced hydration without it breaking everything apart. I have super oily and acne prone skin type. This doesn't break me out. doesn't irritate the skin at all. And I just find it's like a pleasure to use. This was my go-to all the way through summer. I kept it in the fridge and every time I just felt a bit hot and flustered, a few spritzes of this calmed and soothed everything down. I don't reach for it as frequently in the winter. I find that that toner from Secret Key I mentioned earlier is really all the hydration I need. But I'm definitely going to be keeping this for the warmer months because, you know, you just cannot beat that instant cooling sensation of a really effective mist. And this hydrates you so, so well to boot. 
Now we're in the home stretch, but in at number seven is this. This is the Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum. So I have again fangirled about this throughout 2022. A wonderful addition to a hyperpigmentation skincare routine. Fully transparent, it's got the percentages of every ingredient on the back, which I love to see. You know, not all brands have to put their percentages out there for everyone to know, but I think when a brand does, we should definitely applaud that because it kind of just means they've got nothing to hide. This is a beautiful tranexanoic acid derivative, which is going to calm and soothe the skin, reduce inflammation, which in the long term will prevent hyperpigmentation. It's also got some other great discoloration fighting ingredients alongside that, so it works relatively quickly. Best thing about this, under $10. If you want to do like hyperpigmentation treatments on a budget, Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum is kind of all you need. It works so, so well. It's got a beautiful finish on the skin. It's not tacky or sticky, and it layers beautifully well with the rest of your skincare. It's just one of those holy grail products that I definitely, definitely can see slotting into most people's skincare routine and delivering absolutely amazing benefit. For very similar reasons, this is the Make Prem Extra Moisture Essence with Panthenol. So this again is applicable to just about all skincare routines and skin types. Everyone's skin, no matter how resilient it is, will go through periods of irritation and inflammation. And that can really impact the skin barrier, our hyperpigmentation, just our overall skin health. I always make sure in my skincare routine, I have at least one step that's all about the calming and the soothing. Now, a lot of these serums that I've mentioned today will do that. So you don't need all of them. You just pick and choose the best one that meets your skin type and of course your budget. But I think this is one of those universal products that will just deliver. It's packed full of panthenol, which is a B vitamin to calm and soothe the skin. But it's also quite hydrating. If, like me, you've got a very oily, acne-prone skin type, this is like a moisturiser and a calming serum in one. If you've got a drier skin type, you're of course going to want to use this alongside your existing moisturiser of choice, but it's that flexibility that means this has earned a place in the top 10 list. It's a beautiful, lightweight gel. I'd say it's, it's described as a gel. I'd say it's more like a gel cream hybrid, which I love. So it works in the warmer summer months, in the cooler winter months. It's just a universal, amazing holy grail. Let that just sink in and you'll instantly notice that calmness, that relief. You get a meaningful level of hydration. It's not sticky, it's not tacky. And you know what? One of these bottles will probably last me six months because a little definitely goes a long way to just bring a little equilibrium to the skin. Now, my final two products are these. Let's kick things off with the V Green Daily Moisture Cream. So I mentioned the V Green Seeker Serum earlier. V Green are just one of those amazing Korean skincare brands that I just don't think they do a bad product, if I'm honest. Their Nature Mucin Toner, a great vegan alternative to snail mucin. This, though, is an absolute winner when it comes to lightweight winter moisturizers. So normally in the cooler months, we go for something thicker, more occlusive. If you've got an oily skin type, that isn't going to work for you. It'll feel like you're walking around wearing a mask, and I'm not all about that. This, though, gives you maximum hydration without that heavy feeling. It's a slightly richer cream than, say, that Make Prem Panthenol Essence, but it still disappears without a trace. Doesn't weigh the skin down, leave you feeling like you're wearing a mask. But if you just look at the level of hydration, dewiness, and plumpness that this leaves behind, it's so, so good. If you want to kick it up a notch further, team this with the V Green Seeker Serum. Use the Seeker Serum first, then put a layer of this on top and your skin will be like plump, juiced up, hydrated to the gods and give you that maximum glow up and luminosity that I think we all crave. This is just a really, really nice product. It's vegan, it's cruelty free as are all the recommendations I'm making today and it's really affordable. So I'd say if you're tempted by that V Green Seeker Serum and you want to take it to the next level, put one of these on order as well. Your skin will love it and you'll be looking your glowing best even though it's a slightly darker winter months. Now finally, let's talk this, the beauty of Joson Rice Relief Sunscreen. Now if you'd have asked me six months ago, this would have been like the non negotiable, the one Korean skincare product I have to have. And it is a beautiful, beautiful sunscreen that acts as a moisturiser and your sun protection in one. Some people say it gives a slight ashiness to deeper, darker, and richer skin tone, so I'll call that out. But for everyone else, it can work beautifully. Now, I went through tube after tube after tube of this. I probably used like 15 in the last year. But recently, I moved on to my own sunscreen, which is this, the Mad About Skin Protect and Hydrate Sunscreen. This was modelled on the same sort of finish and elegance of the beauty of Joson one and I feel like I've even been able to improve it just that little bit and the reason why I'm still fangirling about this is you know what my sunscreen aside this is absolutely stunning and definitely worth a look if you're looking to get a Korean sunscreen that just kind of works this is it but I've gravitated more towards my own because I, I prefer the finish you get a slightly more hydrating finish than you do with that beauty of Joson one and it's got a higher UVA protection which is ultimately what I'm looking for in the sunscreen but this whilst you won't be seeing a whole lot 
on the channel going forward because I'm just using other products is definitely definitely worth a look. I'll do a bit of a side by side comparison so you can see how this finish is. The beauty of Joseon one, really lightweight and gorgeous. The Mad About Skin one I feel has a very similar finish. So if you see how that goes onto the skin, we'll work in the Mad About Skin one first and then you've got the beauty of Joseon one afterwards. Obviously this isn't a, you know, the best swatch in the world, but you can kind of see how this finishes. I find that the beauty of Joseon, let's just rub that in properly on the beauty of Joseon side to make it a fair comparison. They both disappear on my skin tone. The beauty of Joseon one, I'd say has a vague slight amount more dewiness to it, a bit more to the finish. Whereas I'd say that the Mad About Skin one is slightly more matte. The Mad About Skin one, definitely more hydrating. So it's gonna depend what you want in terms of finish on the skin and the level of hydration from your sunscreen. Though the fact that you won't be seeing this as often on the channel, don't let that make you think that this is anything less than superb. It was groundbreaking when it came out, everyone went mad for it and absolutely deservedly so, which is why I still want to feature it in my top 10 Korean skincare. So there you have it guys, my Korean skincare favourites of 2022. Have I missed out any of your personal heroes? Sound off in the comments section below. And wherever you are in the world guys, stay safe, stay well and love your skin. Take care. Bye.